Hey guys, Philip Hump here. In May 2022, I gave my first ever TED Talk on the topic of how to build lasting confidence. Now, 24 hours on YouTube, my TED Talk was watched over 40,000 times. The same day, the global TED organization picked my talk as editor's pick out of hundreds of other TED Talks. Now, most people don't know is that I had only six days to prepare for that TED Talk. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the strategies that I've used to prepare for that TED Talk in only six days. You'll learn the four, I'd say, rather unusual strategies that have helped me prepare for this big moment. So. If you have a presentation coming up, a speech, whatever it is, that video will help you lots to prepare for that specific big moment, especially if you have very little time. Now, before we get right into it, please make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Now, in case you're wondering, like, uh, Philip, why did you have only six days to prepare for that TED Talk? Let me share how it got there, all right? May 2022, I was in my apartment in Amsterdam when I got a call from this unknown number. Say, hello? Hi, Philip. This is Mike from TEDx Remont. Look, I don't want to talk about fate, but we had a speaker dropping uh, and we have a spot open. Would you be interested? Uh, sure. Yeah. When is it? Well, it's next Wednesday. You mean Wednesday in six days? Yeah, I know. It's a little tight. Are, are, you, are you in? I have been dreaming about TED Talks all my life, right? I've watched so many TED Talks. So I thought, oh yeah, this may be, this may be my only chance. And so in my high-pitched voice, I said, uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm up for it. <laughs> Six days later, I give my TED Talk in front of hundreds of people. In this video, I'm going to share with you the four strategies that have helped me the most to prepare for that event. First strategy, visualize the worst. The moment that they told me that I was invited, all these anxious thoughts came to my head. And like, what if I black out in front of everyone? What if my head turns red? What if my PowerPoint stops working? And when I realized all of these thoughts coming in, I thought, you know what? You know what, mind, bring it on, right? What else? What, what do you think are the terrible things that could happen? And so I indulged in my bad thoughts a little bit more. After going very, very deep, I realized that the one thing that I'd be most, but really most afraid of is if I were to shit my pants on stage, that would be the worst thing that could happen. When I realized that this was really the worst thing that I could imagine myself, I started visualizing myself actually doing that. So I visualized myself on stage, shitting my pants. But as I visualized it, and I visualized in all the details that I'm gonna spare you, I also visualized how I actually worked with that, how I overcame that problem, and how I still delivered a TED Talk that was absolutely incredible. Now, doing that for a few times made me very confident that I could actually deal with anything. So if you have an important presentation or speech coming up, visualize. Well, first, ask yourself, what is the worst thing that could happen? Then visualize that event, but also visualize how you overcome that event. It's a very powerful visualization. Another strategy, rehearse in different voices. When I gave that TED Talk, every single word mattered. I needed to learn every single word by heart. So how did I pull that off in only six days of preparation? When I had the full script in front of me, I spoke it out loud, but in different voices, different accents, different intensity. I'll give you some example. Parts of the script I read as if I was English royalty. Parts of the script are read like that. Parts of the script I read as if I was my German mother. <laughs> By the way, I suck at uh, accents, so please don't judge me on that. But just rehearsing it like that in these different voices, accents, intensity, made it more fun, made it more memorable. Go ahead and give it a try. Try to speak your speech in different voices, different accents, different intensity. Next strategy, talk to a tree. Throughout my life, really many, many times I was on stage or gave a presentation, 
I spoke with a voice that was too low. It was either that my voice sounded not very confident or that no one could really understand me in the back of the room. Now, for that not to happen, I did something that is a little unusual. To prepare for my presentation, what I did there, I went into a park here in Amsterdam. I went to a park, I picked this beautiful tree about 10 meters away or 30 feet away, and I started giving that presentation to that tree. And I started rah, 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 giving that presentation to that tree. Now, people came by and they're like, wait a second, what, what, what is going on with him, right? Why is he talking to that tree? But you know what, that's actually good because when you see people passing and actually looking at you, you learn how to deal with these feelings of judgment. You're probably wondering, hey, Philip, uh, can I also do this inside of my living room? Do I have to be in a park? Yes, you gotta be in a park. Why? Well, because the acoustic in your living room is very different to most event locations. So in your living room, it will sound much louder than it is in an event location. So if you really wanna rehearse for your presentation, if you wanna speak with a loud and clear voice, go ahead, go into a park and find yourself an imaginary audience, beautiful tree, and deliver your presentation in front of that tree. Last but most powerful strategy, embarrass yourself before your big moment. The day I gave that TED talk, I had to take the train from Amsterdam to south of Netherlands. So going to the train, I find myself a seat. It's a busy, busy train. Five minutes in, I stand up and ask, uh, excuse me, can I, can I have your attention, please? Uh, huh? Huh? I want to sing a song for you. Now, you should know, I'm a bad singer, right? I'm not a good singer, I suck at it. But I go on and I share and I sing this random, random reggaeton song for this full train in front of me. And I own that song for a full minute. For a full minute, everyone is like, oh, what are you doing, right? This is torture, stop it, please. People were looking away, they were ignoring me. There's one person actually looking at me. One minute in, I say, thanks a lot, thank you. And I sit down and just notice how I feel, right? How I feel on my body. Why did I do that? To remind myself that it's okay if other people judge you. Sure, this entire train was judging me, but hey, did it matter? No, it didn't. And the same for this presentation that I gave a few hours later. By having done this exercise in the train, I felt ready, I felt like, you know what? If I can do that, I can do anything in life. And so it was. Giving the TED talk was much easier than getting up in the train and singing for this random crowd. Now, before you freak out, don't worry, you don't have to sing in the train. There are other things that you can do to embarrass yourself. You can pick anything. So next time you have a presentation coming up, just one or two hours before, go into the street and find something that would embarrass yourself. For example, you go to the next person and you say in a very awkward way, hello, I will wish you a wonderful good morning. One example. or. You go into the Starbucks and you sit down on the floor, if you dare. Or you go into McDonald's and you say, excuse me, can I have a pizza, please? Whatever it is, right? You have all the options to embarrass yourself. But key is just pick one activity to do to embarrass yourself the same day you give that presentation. It is so powerful. These are the four strategies that have helped me prepare for my TED Talk in only six days. Now, I know they're weird, right? They're weird, but they are so incredibly effective. So give it a try. That's pretty much everything that we wanted to cover for today. If you like that video, please make sure to give it a like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. We have tons of more videos on my YouTube channel that will help you become this charismatic storyteller and public speaker. So thanks a lot for watching. Have a great one.